I've spent the last few days trying to perfect my latest build, but I figured I'd take a little bit of time off from this project and put together a collection of some interesting glitches that I've learned about. Now I don't normally use glitches for my ship builds, but some of these might be useful if you're going for a certain look. So let's get into it. I'm going to show you some tricks to get pieces to fit where they don't quite fit. Let's say we want to use this port docker. We want to put it here. Unfortunately, it won't snap. Get rid of our other docker. And if we remove the landing gear, it will snap into place. However, we really want our landing gear. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this here. I'm going to select it. Then I'm going to press the flip key. Then I'm going to press the cancel key. Now I'm going to take the gear and put it back into place. Now I'm going to select the docker again. I'm going to press the flip key. And I can just press accept. And there we go. Our build is valid. Now this particular combination of docker and landing gear is especially easy to glitch into place. Because not only can the docker be flipped, but the landing gear has multiple variants. I'm going to show you the multiple variant trick now. So what I'm going to do is put it in place. It's red. I'm going to hit next variant. I'm going to hit previous variant. It's still red, but I'm going to hit cancel. Now when you hit cancel on an object that has multiple variants, it's going to go back to wherever it was when that variant was basically put in place. Now, since we had cycled this variant into place when it was snapped, even though it was red, it's still going to return there. So as long as you can get the piece to snap into place, even if it's red, this trick will usually work for most pieces. Here's another trick for attaching pieces where they don't fit. Let's say we want to put this Hope 11 docker on the front of the ship. Now it really almost fits, it just barely collides with either this braking engine or this cockpit. What we can do to get around that is we're going to need to slide the docker really close to its final position. And in order to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to block off the snap point with something else that uses it. I'm using this porthole just because it'll attach to it and it's pretty small. And then we're going to slide this thing as close as we can to where we think it should go. Then we're going to set it down, delete the porthole. Now we're going to pick this up and set it down. Of course I have an error because I have another docker on this ship. But as you can see, now our ship is nominal and we've attached a front docker where it didn't quite fit. I think it looks pretty good though if you're into the front docker look. But anyways, this trick will work with multiple pieces. And the thing about this Hope Docker is it has no variance and it can't be flipped. So you can't use some of the other tricks to, to attach it. Here's another trick that you can use to get pieces to fit where they don't quite fit. As you can see, this Stroud Engine Bracer B has an attachment point on the top of it. If I hover over it and press Duplicate, the duplicate's going to snap to the nearest attachment point. Now if I duplicate it and, you, and I move it a little bit, you'll see that it doesn't actually fit here. It's colliding with this noble weapon mount. It's this crossbar is in the way. But if I duplicate it and I don't move it and I hit accept, it'll attach just fine and it'll say that the whole build is nominal. This trick is especially handy for this horizon weapon mount because the snaps are so close together. As you can see, this weapon will snap to the lower mount point. If you try to snap to the upper one, it just barely collides with the cargo hold there. So what you can do is you can just hover over it and press duplicate and then hit accept. Works pretty flawlessly for this weapon mount because the attach points are so close together. Here's another interesting trick that works seemingly for this noble weapon mount and perhaps nothing else. This noble weapon mount is kind of strange because when you try to attach something to the forward outside mount, it's going to try to attach to the forward inside mount. Now if you move these things out of the way, 
You can actually see that there is an outside mount in the front of this weapon mount. We can go ahead and we can attach weapons to the inside as well. So now we have four weapons mounted towards the front of this weapon mount. However, when we pick up these outer weapons, they're going to try and snap to the inside mount. It's just like where this weapon mount seems to prefer. If we move them, it's going to say, hey, there's already a weapon here. If we just pick them up and hit accept, we can basically stack two guns right on top of each other. If you use two of the same type of gun, you're not really going to see it, except for your beams might be a little bit brighter when you actually fire them. We still have some free weapon mounts on the back of this double weapon mount as well. So, it's an aesthetically pleasing way to cram six weapons on a mount that was really intended to hold four. So if you remember from the beginning of the video, I attached a front docker to a place it didn't quite fit. I did that by blocking the snap point, in that case I used a porthole, and then I slid the docker very close, so close that it would have snapped if the snap point wasn't blocked. You can actually use that same trick for weapons. I'm going to use that here to make an extra long gun, basically going to take this and I'm going to snap it here where it wouldn't fit. It's going to make a super long, doubly powerful PBO-175, as if the PBO-175 wasn't powerful enough. Now, I should point out that when you have a weapon on your ship, and it's blocked by your own ship, it'll shoot right through your own ship without doing any damage. You can use this to hide weapons inside of your hull. You can put them behind a piece and they'll shoot right through a hab. Whatever. It doesn't matter. In this case, we're going to try to attach this right here and make a double long gun. So what we're going to do first, we're going to block this snap point. We're going to pick a very small weapon and we're going to snap it to the snap point. Then we're going to slide our desired weapon as close as we can to the other weapon. We're going to delete it, pick it up, and set it back down. So now we have kind of merged those two guns into an extra long gun. Just snap it into place, move this thing as close as possible, delete the unwanted weapon, pick up the desired weapon, should snap into place and turn green, hit accept, and you're good to go. It says this build is nominal. Now I want to show you a trick that allows you to hide weapons completely inside of your hull where they can't even be seen. Move these pieces out of the way. Attach a couple weapon mounts to my hull here. I already showed you the duplication trick. If I use that to get these weapons to collide lower one doesn't quite fit otherwise. And I'm going to take this Stroud cap, put it in place. It doesn't fit, so I'm going to flip it four times while it's red until it's back in its original position. I'm going to hit cancel. And I'm going to take this equipment plate with my other Vanguard Obliterator auto projector. I'm going to slide it into place. Attach right here. And I'm just going to take my other cap, put it in place, Hit flip, hit flip, hit flip, hit flip, then hit cancel. Now my build is nominal. So up top I have my double stacked PBO 175s. Firing four guns, but it looks like I'm firing two. And down below I have my Vanguard Obliterator auto projectors, which you can't even see. But I can still fire them. And as you see, I'm not doing any damage to my shield. So there's the trick for hiding weapons inside of your hull.
So now I'm going to show you one more trick for mounting weapons in this ship builder. This might have been sort of implied by the previous tricks I showed you, but it's not particularly obvious, so I figured I'd show you explicitly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to attach a weapon right here, but it won't fit because it's colliding with a forward gun. So what I did was I attached a weapon to an equipment plate and I brought it really close by. This way I can press duplicate and it'll snap right to it and I can just hit accept. Now having it on the equipment plate will prevent it from trying to snap to this point which may allow you to bring it closer without it turning red. You can use the weapon mount for the same trick and it may be easier in some cases just because of where the weapons are positioned. However, you need to attach two of the weapons so that it won't just try to snap to the other snap point. All you do is hover over the closest weapon to your targeted point, hit duplicate, and hit accept. Now we can just delete these extras and we're good to go. You should try this trick and you should try the other tricks I showed you before you try the next trick that I'm going to show you. The next trick I'm going to show you doesn't actually use the ship builder. It uses the ship upgrade menu and it's going to cost you a little bit of credits. But you might be able to use it in cases where these other tricks wouldn't work. It's possible you just have a missile launcher that's just too large and you just can't get it close enough that it wants to snap without it turning red. I won't be using any of those tricks for this build. This build isn't a glitch build. But I thought they'd be handy to share. I'm going to be doing a full tutorial on this build soon, so if you want to see how this thing is made, hit that subscribe button and I should have a video up in a couple days. I'm going to show you a trick to get weapons to attach where they won't quite fit. This is a different trick than the flip or previous or next variant tricks, so you can use it with pieces that can't be flipped or don't have variants. I'm going to try to install three of these weapons here. But unfortunately, the back mounts won't allow them to be attached. So I'm just going to use a small weapon as a placeholder. I'm going to assign it to a group, and then I'm going to save. Next, I'm going to go to the upgrade ship menu. Select the placeholder weapons, and then find the weapon that you want to replace them with in the list. This upgrade ship menu won't check for collisions, it'll only check to ensure that the weapons have the same mounting points and you're not exceeding the maximum power allowed. Save that and return to the ship builder if you want to add an additional weapon. There's no sense in using placeholders where you don't need them, because you are going to spend a little bit of money on this process. That's why I recommended the cheapest weapon you could find that would fit.